Hi guys! So, we are gonna do my skincare routine. I finally got a suction cup camera holder to hold my camera so that I don't have to hold it at all. It doesn't have to stand on the tripod. And we get to do my official skincare routine, okay? So for my girls with sensitive skin or who just want a hydrated, glowy look for their skincare, I have a few secrets that I wanna share with you guys as far as my skincare routine and how I go to bed and wake up looking so hydrated. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is take off this makeup. I like to use Neutrogena's wipes. I know that some people use micellar water. I haven't really dabbled into micellar water. The only thing about that is you have to use so many cotton swabs to be able to get your makeup off. And I feel like a wipe covers more surface, so I use the wipes. So just take a little towelette and I'm just gonna wipe this makeup off. exfoliation with my oil free acne wash pink grapefruit foaming scrub this allows me to exfoliate my face and feel refreshed if it doesn't work for you that's okay but this is what works for me right now keep in mind our skin changes all the time I used to use so many different face washes I even have CeraVe's acne control cleanser and sometimes when I don't want to exfoliate I use this one um, but I like to exfoliate after a day of wearing makeup because I want to get the makeup that was deep under my pores um, and just make sure that I'm going to bed with clean skin. You don't want no extra bacteria living under the surface of your skin. So we tend to be a little extra precautious. So I like to go in with, don't kill me, alcohol. Comment down below if you are an alcohol toner girl. I know some people might cringe. I know we might have some dermatologists that cringe or estheticians and that is okay. You know, because you gotta do what works for your skin. I do hydrate my skin a lot. Um, with vitamin C uh, serums and creams, heavy creams on my skin. So I do give my skin a lot of hydration after. This is just how I ensure I get all the makeup out of my pores and any excess anything. I just like to go over with toner, alcohol as toner first. that was left over that I was able to get off. Okay, so now that I know my face is really clean, you see how you're able to see some light reflecting? Okay, that's because the pores are tight and the tighter the pores are, the more light your skin reflects. So my face is fully clean, now we're gonna start adding layers. So, on top of my alcohol, I use Paula's Choice, this little bottle, you guys probably know her. Paula's Choice Exfoliate 2% BHA Liquid Exfoliant Silicic Acid. So I've been using a lot of acids. This Neutrogena Acne Wash has silicic acid in it. And um, the Acne Control Cleanser has 2% silicic acid as well. So silicic acid is something that is recommended when you have acne prone skin. And then we also have silicic acid in this one as well. So this is a liquid exfoliant, meaning it allows your skin to like resurface new layers um, and what you can do is either you can pour it directly into your hand and tap it on your face or you can use a cotton swab sometimes when my skin feels really raw and too sensitive i'll just use my hands to just pat it but i feel like it gets a more even layer if i use a cotton swab i just shake it because it doesn't pour on its own you have to kind of like encourage it to come out and then i just kind of 
lightly drag it across my face. Depending on how sensitive your skin is, this might be a little strong for you. It doesn't burn, but it may make your skin a little tight and dry. But I use this because I need my skin cells to turn over so that I'm getting rid of the discoloration and the dark marks and everything else that's going on with my skin. And this also aids in my skin looking really shiny and glowy because it tightens my pores and it's just gonna get rid of dead skin cells. So this is what we got out of that one. So this is the Skin Perfecting 2% BHA Liquid Exfoliant Salicylic Acid. All skin types, it unclogs pores, shrinks in large pores, smooths and even skin tone. That is what this is known for. This little bottle, I wanna say is like, I feel like there's an eight in there. It's either $8 or 18. I have this that I paid a lot of money for and the woman told me it's so good and like you have to get this. This is like the highest percentage of vitamin C you'll ever get in a product. Da -da 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 -da. She really sold me. It says 20% C, vitamin C, THD ascorbate. Now I don't know about you, but I don't know what that means. But I'm gonna just put that on my face. We're gonna rub it in. Vitamin C is good for evening your skin tone and brightening up your face. I definitely recommend having that in your skincare routine. When I was able to make my skin go from its worst to improved, um, vitamin C was definitely a part of that routine. This is the piece that was really helpful in my skincare, in my skin clearing up when I had really bad acne. Um, I used a product called Tretinoin, and Tretinoin was really, really um vital in clearing up my skin discoloration and active acne for the active acne i used um clindamycin to target the bacteria and the tretinoin evened out my skin tone from all the damage that was done because of the acne and it made my skin even smooth again so you need a retinoid a tretinoin is a retinoid and retinoids help transition your skin and remove the layers of skin so that you can have newer skin form and and rejuvenate I have the Peter Thomas Roth retinoid treatment. You put this on your discoloration and your uneven skin, and over time it works to reduce the look of fine lines, wrinkles, and uneven skin tone with an expert level of age-defying formula. A lot of people who are aging use retinoids, but you can use it even if you have discoloration, acne, anything like that. And then with Dr. Dennis Gross Dewy Deep Cream. This stuff is so hydrating so hydrating and I want you guys to see it. So I'm gonna go off camera and put it on so that you guys can see what this is, but I do this first and then I finish with this. So this is the final result of my skincare. My face is really hydrated. It has all the necessary vitamins and treatments that it needs to repair overnight. But this is it. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope this was helpful. I hope you purchased some of these products. I love all of them really. I feel like they're all very effective in helping my skin. But of course the most important part, you guys must, must get sunscreen. If you are a brown skin or dark skin girl, I highly 1 million percent recommend black girl sunscreen. Why? Because black girl sunscreen goes on white and dries clear and leaves your skin dewy and hydrated, not dry and matte. So this is only 18 bucks, 16 bucks. It's, it's worth more than that to me. I was expecting 30 bucks when I bought it. So definitely get you one. I only use this for my face because in order to get rid of discoloration, guys, when you're using retinoids and tretinoin or whatever, you have to protect it the next morning when you go out during your day with sunscreen in order to see results. I know this from firsthand experience. You will only see results if you protect it with sunscreen because if you do not put sunscreen on, you will go out into the sun and it will further damage your skin because your skin is more sensitive now that you're using these treatments and it'll only make the dark marks darker and can possibly cause permanent skin damage. So just go ahead and get you one, yeah?
All right, y'all. I'll see you soon. Thank you for watching this video. I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.